Welcome back to Sweet Death Entertainment. I'm AJ Watts. And I am RJ Stone. And today we are doing our first reaction video in well over a year. At least, like almost 16 months. Yes. And uh, we were discussing this and thought we'd try to make some changes to the channel, be a little more professional. You know, kind of everything. class up the joint a little bit. Yeah. But then... We figured why bother? Because today we're dealing with a real classless act. Welcome back. I'm still AJ Motts. And I'm still RJ. And this video is brought to you by 3dprintmerchmart.com. Absolutely. And if you are anybody who is into Star Wars weaponry, I don't care if it's a blaster, if it's a rifle, whatever, you have to check out this site. If you're into cosplay and you like collecting this stuff, check out this particular website. You will not be disappointed with the stuff this guy's creating. 3dprintmerchmart.com. So go check them out. All in one word. Yes. Okay. So now we're getting into our first video we've done. I haven't done a video in how long? 16 months? Something like that? 16, 16 months. Yeah, it's, it's been, been a, a long time. Yeah. But these guys are new, up and coming band, and we figured why not start here and, and go from there? And this is one of those things that we just got turned on to, literally. And we're talking this week. So we're going to get yeah. this out as fast as we possibly can. And hopefully you're going to enjoy it. Uh, the band is. Classless Act. Classless Act, out of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Now, you might be a little familiar with them, just a yep. tad, because they've had Son of a Famous Person in the <laughs> band at one point. Oh, well, Son of a Famous Person to you, too. <laughs> yes. Not a Son of a Motherless Goat, but Son of a Famous Person. Um, band formed basically via social media. Yeah. Right? And gone are the days of people putting ads in the recycler, I guess. Or True. Musicians True. Choice, whatever. Yeah, um, you can just now put up a, a demo video on YouTube or Facebook and somebody's going to see it and like, hey, I think that person might be good for my band. That's right. And you can preview everybody before they come in. It's like, yeah. hmm, sorry, there, there's not your, quite the image. Yeah, there's your auditions right there. Yeah. No more calling people into the studio and endless days and hours no more of auditions. No yeah. more walking into an audition and because you don't have long hair, they don't let you play. Even though you can play, but <laughs> they don't let you play because you don't have long hair. I'm, yeah, I'm, 80s. <laughs> Anyhow. Someone, someone's still hurt. A little better. But, uh, <laughs> so the band, Classless Act, uh, have a brand new yeah. single. Uh, we want to go straight into the single. We should introduce the band. We should introduce the band. Okay, so, so on lead vocals, Vox as they say, mm -hmm. uh, Derek Day. And on one guitar, you have Dane Piper. And on the other guitar, it's a two guitar band yeah. out of Los Angeles. Holy go figure. crap. Griffin Tucker is his name. And on bass. You have to say it like this, by the way. We got Franco Gravante. There you go. And then finally, uh, rounding out the kit on the back, drums, none other than Chuck McKissick. Now, no relation to the person we all know. That we all know. Uh, <laughs> he's related to a friend of mine, just happens to be a friend's son. But yeah. Yeah, I'm not biased. No, of course not. You got to earn my respect. Absolutely. Yes. So now that we have said the name of the band, yep. the single is right here in front of us called Give It To Me. Mm -hmm. We are going to go straight into this, come back right after it. So this is Give It To Me by Classless Act. Cool little mic move.
checkerboard and stripes go together? I don't know. Ouch. <laughs> and there you have it. Yeah, right. Give it to me by Classless Act. Yeah. Um, One thing sticks out. What's that? It, it's not a bad thing because yeah. uh, it's kind of a little bit of a throwback. Mm -hmm. uh, aside from the music, he, uh, Derek kind of sounds a little like Mark Slaughter. Yeah, yeah. You can hear definitely it? hear that. Yeah. 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 And it, it, it's kind of that old school 80s inspired sound. Um, I would almost throw in... Uh, Maybe if they were a little more, uh, I don't know, not grungy, but a little more distortion, Buck Cherry kind of thing. Um, yeah, yeah. I can totally hear that. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't sound like Josh Todd. No. no that's for certain. But uh, just the kind of the whole vibe, the vibe and style. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's got a the, Kind of the party music kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, it, maybe if the subject matter was a little more underground or you know gutter based it might be a little more buck cherry but <laughs> yeah, but i do like it it's it's catchy it's yeah quick. for sure it's a single it's, it's yeah. a traditional single you know do we less dare, than three minutes that's right do we dare compare them to gvf <laughs> i don't know um, well at least i think from a marketing standpoint we probably they're, can. They're young. Because, yeah, they're young, they're putting out a single, then the EP, and then maybe a full album later, mm -hmm. whenever they get around to recording it. So. And let's also think back, way back in the early 80s, and again, when, don't mean to compare, but that's <laughs> what we're going to be doing. Right. You've got bands like LA Guns, Crew. Mm -hmm. Every uh, single GMR, one of them. <laughs> every single one of them. They follow they the start, formula. They started like this. Yeah. Right? Playing the clubs and then going, you know, going where they ended up being today, 40-something mm -hmm. years later, yep, that's yep. a whole other story. Um, so what it boils down to is, I like it. Yeah, it's good, like it's it. catchy, it's got a good beat, you can dance to it. That's right, um, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Chuck was not the original drummer for this he, band. He is not, no, Chuck uh, is uh, the the new guy. Yeah. Kind of like Neil Peart, who he does, by the way, at least his dad told me, uh, cites as an influence. Okay, of course, so, yeah, you almost have to. That's cool. And if you're a drummer, you have to. And Neil Peart was always known as the new guy in the band. Yeah. Right. The, the original drummer was a guy by the name of London Hudson. Mm -hmm. Now, you may or may not know who that is, but if you know your rock music, you probably know the last name. And if you knew, if you recognized a particular guitar in there that was yes. not the double neck guitar, that yep. could also be a little bit of a giveaway. That's yep. not him, it was the LBO. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> now, we are talking about Slash's uh, son. Yes. Uh, was originally a drummer in the band, who has now gone on to other things. Yep. But Chuck's filled in very nicely. Um, I think they're tight. I can't wait to hear the rest of the EP. Yeah, it'd be exciting to see what they come up with for the rest of it. Yeah, which is coming out later this year, late mm -hmm. fall, early winter, somewhere right around there. That's what we've kind of been told, but kind of mm -hmm. not been told. But And they got some big time producers on this one, including the one and only Bob Rock, yep. who's Metallica and everybody else down the road, yep. and Joe Ciccarelli. Joe Ciccarelli, who has done... Uh, Elton John, The White Stripes, U2, a couple of you know, bands you might have heard of. Uh, Joe specifically so, did this single. Okay. That's it, that's yeah. his thing. Yeah. So you know a band is good when they're already catching the ears of these major producers. Yes, and by the way, the record is on uh, Better Noise Music, which happened to be the top rock label in 2020. So mm -hmm. you're on a label that's doing pretty well. Yep. So what are you gonna do with an up and coming band like this? I don't know, stick them on tour with some of your bandmates. I don't know. Motley Crue, Def Leppard sound good to you? Sure, I mean, it's a it's a start anyway, you know. Yeah, it, it's you got to start somewhere, right? I know, right? Got to start Nothing, at the bottom. Yeah, on yeah. As well, but hopefully they'll do some smaller clubs in uh, some warm up gigs around the country to prepare for that bigger show. And this is going to be one of those bands, I think, that if you check them out now, you can say, "Hey, I saw them win." And if yeah. you again, we'll, we'll do a little bit of a comparison to Greta Van Fleet. Um, Greta Van Fleet started in the clubs then started doing these smaller theaters, and now they're opening acts on the yep. tours. And that's just what happens. It's just the pressure. That's how it goes. 
Yeah, and we wish them nothing but success. So yeah. the band Classless Act on Better Noise Music. The tune is called Give It To Me, EP coming out soon. Yeah. I am RJ Stone. I'm AJ Moss. Did I miss anything? Whoa. No. No. Okay. Perfect. All right. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> stay metal. Sacrifice nothing. This is Sweet Death Entertainment. <laughs>